Good morning, YouTube. Uh, this is your man, George Page, coming to you live, live on YouTube. Well, it's been a while. I hadn't done any um, human body content, and I feel like, you know, I'm going to do a little something, you know. And um, before you is a lady that I've been a big fan of for a very long time, well, Miss um, Laura Car Cordelia um, Quayval. Now, Laura Quayval is um, from um, Ghana, and she's uh, she was born in Ghana, but lived in Canada, and also when she was married to her first husband, she lived in Maine, in, um, you know, in Maine. I've got wearing in Maine, but, you know, I should have do more decision, but I'm a big fan, you know. She's been competing in bodybuilding in the, for at least almost, before she retired in the year, um, she, uh, she retired around about, ooh, before the 2000s, but came back in 2002 and retired again. She was competing in bodybuilding body for at least over 20 years. She uh, competed in the Caribbean. She uh, turned pro after she won the 1986 um, U.S. Championships. And then she also um, debuted as IP Pro at the um, um, IP, IP uh, World Championships in 1988. And then she made her, her debut in 1988 at the Miss Olympia. She has, the, she has competed in over probably 13 Miss Olympias in three different decades. She, you know, competed in 88 and 89, most of the 90s, and she came back in 2002 and competed as a lightweight. Now, Laura is one of my favorites, all-time favorites. Just an amazing body. It's a very attractive woman. I mean, I was a big fan of her ever since I can started watching bodybuilding. She has uh, competed, like I said, she competed in the, over 13 on Miss Olympias. She always... Her first Miss Olympia, she played six, but after that, she was in the top five, just generally the top five. She was running up at least uh, two or three different occasions, and you know, and um, some say that a couple of times they feel like she could have won Miss Olympia, but you know, um, those couple of times she she ran up was was the uh, during the years of Linda, and you know, and Linda was dominant good part of the '90s, and um, also during the years of um, Kim Chavesky. Now, Laura, you know, is she is a citizen, she's a Canadian citizen. She has, I would say, dual dual citizenship. Some, you know, she's even though she's Guyanese born, she's a Canadian citizen, and she has an American citizenship. Now, um, her first husband was named Chris Aceto. They were married for a good while, and she uh, they got divorced later on. And you know, her and Chris wrote several um, health and cooking books. They did a lot of workout. Um, uh, videos, you know, she's, you know, they were very, well, I think at that time they were the top, you know, couples in the world of fitness. Um, her, Chris, has been divorced for a good while. She's married again to a, another gentleman, you know, and uh, she's very much in the church. Um, she still comes and do some of the, um, you know, she makes appearances at some of the um, bodybuilding competitions. Um, you know, she she's still, I would say, ambassador for the sport. Um, but I believe really, this woman, if you know, if, she is in the 60s, and um, I should have downloaded a picture of what she looked like today. I forgot to do that, but um, I believe really, she is. She turned 60 um, this past January, and even for a woman her age, she's in great shape. Um, you know, I believe in great shape. You know, and like I said, I always had a big fan of Laura. Um, this is a little side, little funny note. Laura, you know, when she's like many female bodybuilders, she started off, you know. Uh, silicone free, but I think around about the um, good part of the uh, early 90s, she got breast implants, and often there was a, a joke that she got the worst, you know, breast implants. It was she had the um, got her implants, where you know, this when you as a female bodybuilder, as a female bodybuilder, there's two ways you get breast implants put in you can put them over the muscle or under the muscle. Now, if you put them under the muscle, it gives them that natural hang. But you put them over the muscle, they kind of, you know, kind of flop to the side in a way, you know. And um, if you notice, you know, her, you know, if you ever see a female bodybuilder, you know, when you have, they get the implants above the muscles, it gives that bulge and, and protrusion look to it, you know. And um, when you get them under the, you know, is it under, over, which one of the ones? Well, you know, if, depending on how they put, place them, they have that kind of, they still got to slide to the side a bit. So I think that's usually if they put them, you know, you put them under the muscle, you know, it gives them that slide side look, you know, and you put above the muscles, you know, 
I, I'm trying to remember that, but that's how somebody said it. But like I said, Laura has also, she, other than the um, Miss Olympia, she's competed in quite a few Miss Internationals. Miss International was a member, was a, a show connected to the Arnold Schwarzenegger Classic. She has three Miss International titles from 90, uh, 94, and 95. Now, if anybody remember back in, I think it was 94, I think it was 95, there was a bodybuilder named um, Paula Birkenshaw. She was placed eighth. And, some people, and that was just controversial. But I might talk about that on another subject another time. But I said, Laura was using, you know, uh, in many magazines like Iron Man, Flex, Muscle and Fitness. I mean, I used to love looking at the, um, you know, her and her workout, you know, her workout um, attire and, you know, and, you know, you know, back in those days, you know, the mag, the muscle mag used to always like to have the female bodybuilders, you know, you know, do, uh, you know, layouts and stuff like that, you know. And if you are a true FBB fan, that is something just to look at, you know. I'm like I said, she was just a legend. Now, as, you, as I said, she has competed in over thirteen, at least thirteen Miss Olympias, and like I said, in three different decades. And then she came, you know, she, after 99, when they was the year where um, they just, you know, when they almost pretty much got rid of Miss Olympia the first time, she won a show called the um, the uh, Muscle Extravaganza. And that was the same time it was having Miss Olympia. I think she placed third in that show. And then she bowed out for a while. And then she came back in 2002 and competed as a lightweight at the, uh, at the uh, return, you know, at the Miss Olympia, and she placed, I think, six. I remember when I saw her that year, I said, dang, Linda was just, she looks so undersized. Now, she competed as a heavyweight, as an amateur, and as you know, as I said before, this I said before, when you are an amateur bodybuilder, you just only, you have three weight classes, light, heavy, and middle. And um, when you come, if you win as a lightweight, you have to come up to like a level of a heavyweight. Of a middleweight, I mean, you win as a middleweight, you have to come up to the level to a, of a heavyweight. If you win as a heavyweight, you just have to really much work in conditioning and your um and your um you know shape. You know, you know, you come in larger, you have to really you know you know really work on your your body development. Anyway, in 2002, when she came back. She looked kind of undersized to me, and yeah, she played six, and that was just probably she hadn't placed that low since um i think um back in 88 when she competed at the first when she figured, competed at first miss olympia but you know back in, in the 2000s that's when they was cleaning weight classes and placing six as a lightweight was pretty low to me lowest she ever been i, I can ever think of her in her career as you know you know it was there were two it was two weight classes back in that time there was a heavy and light and she competed as a lightweight and to me she looked really undersized i mean you know she was gone for a good while, and she dropped a lot of muscle because, you know, she was out of the game for at least three years. And that was the same thing, 2002, the same year that Linda came back, and she won that show. She beat um, uh, Julia Bergman, who was the champion after 2001. But Laura has been a staple of Fear About It for a long time. I saw some videos of her. She was uh, at the Miss Olympia this year because, as you know, um, Winger Strength was promoting a, a show promoting female bodybuilding. And she was one of the legends that was there, you know, helping out. And as you know, Fear About It was coming back to the Olympia in 2020. And Laura is just an amazing legend. She's very, um, you know, like I said, she, like, she's just a fanboy crush. I think I put in my top five. I play Laura, uh, Vicky Gates, uh, Christina Bach, uh, who, I mean, um, Rosemary Jennings. I'm, you know, just, you know, just a beautiful lady, a woman from the, uh, you know, a lot of great female bodybuilders that come from the Caribbean, and she's one of them. And um, she's a legend. She's like a wild call. She's like the long list of women who's a, you know, always a bridesmaid but never a bride. You know, women who, who competed in the Miss Olympia and never got an opportunity to become Miss O. But you know, she had you know won other titles and other shows. And but you know, that's just always something. Everybody, if you want to be the best, you have to win the Miss O. And that was the big show back in the day. But Linda, you know. I choose this picture because this is just really was like she's strong and beautiful and just amazing. I mean, if you are a true fan of female bodybuilding, Linda Murray should be on your top ten list. You know, and I mean, one of the greatest of all time. I mean, you know, she's in the, she's she's on the top ten to me, the top ten. She may be in the top five, what we call all greatest bodybuilding, but she is is in the top ten to me. But anyway, I just want to give salute and much respect to Miss Quayval. Um, 
Um, and, um, you know, I hope we see more of you still as an active sponsor and a, and a, and a symbol of female bodybuilding. And, you know, this sport needs you because, you know, it's just, it's going to be a struggle. But we need our legends and we need our heroes. It's your man, George Page. Like, subscribe. Don't like. Don't subscribe. I'm out.